Hello ladies and gents, welcome to Say It Down, Say It Loud. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can get those notifications, and let's get it cracking. Alright guys, so today we are talking about something that uh, kind of sad, but at the same time, definitely feel like it's a conversation that needs to be had. So today we're talking about the real gutta k he's a youtuber slash music artist um so this individual made a video the other day that went you know kind of viral and he basically was answering the question that a lot of his supporters and you know just people wanted to know in general about whether or not he has hiv so this individual here who Pretty much a lot of people know her name is isha she's also a uh, youtuber slash i guess music artist i'm not sure um i did hear some song or something from her but um yeah so he's claiming that isha who is well used to be good friends with him actually revealed to instagram live that he has hiv and also showed um his medicine you know proving that he does have hiv and isha's mother is the one who he confided in i guess she you know took him in or he was living with her so he confided in her and she promised not to uh tell anyone that he had hiv but obviously she must have told her daughter isha and she revealed the information now i did see some messages where people were saying that isha had nothing to do with it it was actually her friend who revealed the information and showed the bottle regardless of who did what or who shared the information you know i just want to kind of address this entire issue because there are a lot of people out there who deal with hiv um, aids or you know diseases that they feel are very uh embarrassing or um, you know, they don't want to reveal to everyone and they do have that right. You know, some people are open with their, um, you know, medical issues and some people aren't, even if it's not HIV or AIDS, some people don't want to reveal to other people about cancer or diabetes and this and that. And like I said, they have every right to do so. So we're going to play a few clips from, uh, Gutta's video, and then I'm going to give my commentary. So stay tuned. I was 16 years old and I was a virgin. I met this man and he was 28. He took me through a lot with my mom, like, he made me move out, he made me move with him, made me drop out of school, he just had my mind everywhere. After I left him, I went with my mom, back my mom, and I had to go to a military camp, and I needed a physical. <clears throat> and so my mom took me to go get a physical and blood drawn and stuff, and they came back with that. And at first it was just like, Everything was just gonna be over. Like I just thought, like I was gonna be dead. I didn't know. I didn't know where it would it was going. I just thought I was gonna be dead. So, guys, as you heard, uh, this young man basically gave us his backstory of how he contracted HIV. Um, he was 16 years old, dating a 28 year old, which is statutory rape. So definitely have a case there. And a lot of people may say he's 16. He know right. He knows right from wrong. I heard a lot of people saying that with the R. Kelly situation where, you know, the females at 16, you should know right from wrong. You should know what age to date, which is very true. People do know what age to date, but at 16, you're still a child, you're a minor, and your mental uh, capacity and way of thinking it is not going to be the same as an adult. So therefore, you, you know, an adult still has the ability to, um, how would I say it, uh, influence them and persuade them to do things that they wouldn't normally do or even things that they 
do. I mean, we're adults as well. And of course, some people as an adult, 18, 19, 20, even in their 30s are still being influenced by other people. So, you know, there's no need to point the finger with that situation. Now, like I said, I understand that he's going to get into, you know, telling us how it um, it was revealed and everyone's blaming Isha. But I don't want to focus on that part of this. What I want to focus on is his pain and his hurt and just the situation in general of having it revealed to the public. You know, I don't want to point the finger at anyone. Like I said, yes, it happened. Whoever shared it is downright and dirty. And he definitely deserves an apology, um, regardless of what has transpired between um, the two or the individuals, the friendship, how it ended. Regardless of what, someone's hurting, someone's, you know, in pain. And many people around the world can relate to this because there are people who are suffering in silence, people who are embarrassed, people um, who have individuals that they trusted who reveal this type of uh, information as malicious intent, with malicious intent. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys some more of the video and then I'll be back. And she told Isha behind my back and I knew Isha knew because right after I moved out, Isha had said, like, I know some stuff, but I'm not gonna hurt your feelings. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say nothing. And in my head I was just like, I know she know, like I just know it. So here Gutta is talking about how um, you know, in the process of I guess their friendship ending um, Isha did reveal to him that she does she knows some information, but she's not going to hurt his feelings. Now, if you're really a friend of someone um, and you guys have some history, you guys were cool at one point, uh, regardless of what, when people say, oh, I know some information or, you know, but I'm not going to hurt you. That's still in the back of their head. They have that information locked and loaded like a bullet, like some ammunition and a gun. And they basically are saving that information because if you really had no intent of um, maliciously using that information against them, then you wouldn't even say something like that. You know, if your mother told you some information about him and you go back and tell him, you know, that's just that's messed up. But at the same time. You know, even if my mother was to tell me information, I understand that's her mother and mother and daughters talk. Um, you know, if my mother was to tell me some information that someone told her, I wouldn't even mention it to that person. I'm not that type of person to toy with someone. I wouldn't even want that on their conscience of them knowing that I know that information or that I would be looking at them in a different way or something. So... That's that. So here's a little more of the video. So when I wrote my second song, it got mad because I said I wrote my song. <laughs> and she went off Instagram. She went on Instagram and told everybody. She told everybody. And then she like, had the people that stay with her post the picture of the bottle because she knew it was going to eat her up if she posted it. I know this girl. <laughs> you go get it to what y'all paid for. Y'all go get it. I promise. Am I the good person? All right, guys, so you could see those clips there were a little uh, painful for him. And it maybe, you know, may have been painful for yourself, especially if you, you know, know someone who is suffering or has the disease. You know, someone who has been treated in the same manner where someone used um, some information against them maliciously. And, you know, you may not. 
know anybody who has it or you may not have HIV, but you're able to identify with his pain because it's a human. It's someone who's hurting and we all have feelings. We all know what it feels like to hurt. We all know what it feels like to be betrayed. So, you know, like I said, I understand that's Isha's mother. But honestly, I feel like she should have just kept that information to herself. And then, you know, maybe we wouldn't have this situation. Maybe some other people knew. Who knows? I'm not sure. But I don't think the situation would have been as bad. I don't think, you know, her daughter would have been able to use that information against him in a malicious way. But even in doing so like doing this regardless if she had the information or not sometimes when people don't have they find another way to come for someone but this one definitely seems like it really and truly hurt him and my heart goes out to him so here's the last part um of the video. At the end of the day, I'm gonna continue my life. I'm gonna continue to write my music. I'm gonna continue to just blossom and be as talented as I can be. I just can't believe it. I just want y'all to just I trust it, y'all. I trust her with all of my business. That's all of my business. I trusted her. She said she would never tell me what she did. Am I a good person? So, yes. Yeah, so that pretty much was his final words, you know. Um, I still feel like, like I said, the situation is wrong, but it's good to see and hear him say that he will rise from the situation. And I definitely, definitely believe he will because he's not alone. There's a lot of people out there with HIV. There's people who, um, you know, are embarrassed to tell their story. There's people who, a lot of support for him, um, support groups. Just people alone on YouTube. I've watched some videos of people revealing, you know, their stories um, after hearing about this. And just all in all, you have to be very careful with the information that you reveal to people. Um, you have to be very careful with who you confide in. Everyone doesn't have your best interests in heart. And it's really sad, especially coming from an adult where they reveal information like that or share information after you confided in them after they have promised uh, not to tell anyone it's really sad um do i feel like he is old an apology yes i do i don't care what a person feels like uh someone has done to them this is something you don't do this is on another level you know people are killed because of their status people are killed alone just because they you know are homosexual so people are killed because of their sickness and it's 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 so wrong it's so wrong so wrong so that's the end of the video guys drop a comment down below and let me know what you think and uh don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Say It Now, Say It Loud. Don't forget to subscribe. I, uh, you know, my heart goes out to you, gotta, and definitely hope people out there still see you as a human being. Some things are just out of our reach, um, out of our control, I would say. And this situation definitely was out of his control. 
as a young boy, 16 years old, being taken advantage of by a grown man. So yes, be blessed everyone. See you in the next video.